All right, so today we have something super exciting. The Inspire 2 from DJI, arguably the most used prosumer drone. And we did something pretty cool. We put a LiDAR sensor on it. This is the first time ever a LiDAR has been put on the DJI Inspire 2, and this is possibly game changer. Let's go out and test fly this, see how it works and do a mapping mission to see how much can we actually map or if it's even gonna work on the DJI Inspire 2 with a LiDAR sensor. Stay tuned, let's go fly. What are we doing? I guess we're flying LiDAR, but we're flying LiDAR with an Inspire. So check this out. Here, here is the, the LiDAR Look on that. an Inspire. You're kidding me. <laughs> hey. Here it is. It's just on there. It's just on it's there. It's just on there. It's, this, is, this is the LiDAR Inspire. So, how far does it go? What kind of flight time you get on this thing? All right, so we got a crazy idea. We wanted to take this Inspire 2 drone, which is a awesome, really well-known prosumer drone. A lot of people fly it. A lot of people get their career started flying exactly this bird. And we wanted to take that and turn it into a LiDAR mapping machine. So we just put this LiDAR sensor on the drone. Now we don't know if it's gonna carry this weight. We don't know how stable it's gonna be. We don't know any of that stuff yet, but that's why we came out here to the field I got my friend here, Matt, and he's got awesome skills at doing some FPV. He's gonna get up in the air, chase the bird around, but we're gonna see exactly like how stable it is. We're gonna see like, you know, is it gonna handle anything? Is it gonna burn the motors? Like we don't know yet, but if this works, I'll tell you what, this is game changer because everyone has this drone and if they can put a LiDAR on it, you can fly anywhere in the whole country or in the world with this and a LiDAR in your backpack and just get going. So let's, let's find out, let's see how it's gonna fly. Let's get up in the air. All right, the moment of truth. Turning on the Inspire 2, powering it up. I'm gonna grab the RC. We're gonna take off and do that first flight. I'm gonna test some of that stability. So this is the first flight with the Inspire 2 and a LiDAR system. Here we go. Looks pretty stable. So I'm just gonna push it around a little bit. Feels pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm gonna punch out really hard. And I'm gonna do some back and forth just to see how well it's gonna hold that payload. Ready for the punch out? That feels good. That feels really good. All right, I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times. I mean, I think it's flying pretty good, man. What do you think? Well, it's flying. It's flying, I mean, it's like, feels like it's got plenty of power to it, too. Full tilt, both, both joysticks. I mean, that's just gonna kill my batteries, but great. All right, so I've been flying for about three minutes now, and I'm still at 78% battery. I still have the FPV view. All looks good. Honestly, it's handling the weight like no problem. I'm super impressed. Not a lot of wind here. We're not at a lot of high elevation, but I think this is working. All right. Keep it rolling. All right, that was the first flight with the Inspire 2 with the LiDAR. It works. So that is absolutely working. 
I feel like there was plenty of power left on those motors. Those ESCs were not overpowered. We could still punch out pretty, pretty aggressively. So I think, huh? Are your motors warm? The motors aren't warm, man. Nice. They're not warm. And the ESCs are like up in here, up underneath. Not at all. Motors aren't warm. You're good to go. Motors aren't warm. Woo! Hell yeah! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Let's do this thing, man! All right, so that was that first flight with that DJI Inspire 2 and the LiDAR. It worked great. The motors weren't warm at all. I think it's time. We got to actually fly a real mapping mission and do some train following. We have a really cool pump track. It's a bicycle course down here down the street. We're going to do a map of that and just see how it actually makes a map. This is game changer, guys. I really, really am excited right now. Let's go fly a real mission. Alright, so we're about to take off into the map mission. I got the timer out. We're gonna see what the flight time is. It's gonna take a couple sets of batteries. So we'll see what the flight time is with that lighter on the Inspire 2. So as soon as I take off, I'm gonna start the timer. This is the Inspire 2 with the LiDAR flying a map mission. Ready? Let's test those motors, see how hot they are. Not bad at all. Not hot at all. Not hot at all. Nothing. Nothing. Not hot at all. Alright man, let's hot swap these batteries. All right, we just hit the ground with 15% battery left, and that was, hold on. 15 minutes and 45 seconds of flight time on the Inspire 2 with the LiDAR system. Blowing my mind. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's get home though, and let's look at the data and see how good it looks coming out of that Inspire 2. Really cool. All right, welcome back to the office. We just got done flying out there in the field, the Inspire 2 with a LiDAR sensor on it for the first time ever, and it totally worked. I'm really, really impressed with this system. I think it's gonna change kind of my mindset on what I can do, where I can go, and you know how easy and affordable and achievable LiDAR is. So this, this is changing a few things in my own mind, my own perception. Uh, but really, I think we need to take a look at the data and see how good the data looks from this system before we go saying any grand claims. So we're gonna go over to the Rock Cloud where I uploaded the data from the Inspire and take a look at it. Now, full disclosure, Rock Robotic, it is my company and we do have hardware and we have a LiDAR cloud. We've been doing all of our LiDAR processing on the Rock Cloud and we've, we're making this because this is what we've been doing for years and we need products and tools that are easier for everyone. We're trying to get this data, get these systems to everyone in the world so they can all use it. So let's go ahead and take a first look at that Inspire 2 data on the Rock Cloud. All right, so this is our first look at the Inspire 2 with the LiDAR system on it. And my first impression of this data is it looks really good. 
it looks very complete, very full, lots of points, lots of data. Let's see over here. You can see this is where we were at. Now we went ahead and actually used the rock cloud to process the data. And so we got a uh, bare earth model, so digital elevation model, as well as contours generated. So what that does, it actually extracts away all the vegetation and buildings, gets only that bare earth surface, and then gives you the contours of that surface. So we can actually look at that here if we, if we take away everything and only show the ground. So this is the vegetation penetration of the, the LiDAR on the Inspire 2. And <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, no, it, it, it's looking pretty darn good. And those contours look phenomenal. I mean, I would expect it. I mean, it's the same LiDAR sensor I, I use, so it's just another drone that it's on. So you'd expect it to look the same. And yeah, it, it looks great though. I mean, this is, this is phenomenal. All right, well, awesome. Well, that, that was the Inspire 2 with integrated LiDAR. I think the game just changed because this is gonna be a setup that you can use and be reliable. Uh, a few more things we need to do. We need to test some like high altitude, high, high wind, you know, just to make sure. I mean, but the Inspire 2 is a tried and true system. I mean, this is, people fly these things for thousands of hours. I put this thing through so much abuse. So I imagine that it's gonna be totally fine. A couple ideas, I'm thinking about putting some high altitude props on here, maybe lower the RPMs a little bit, but uh, you know, I think it'll be fine. So that's the Inspire 2 with the LiDAR. If anyone out there wants to help out with this GPS antenna mount, that would be really cool. I'm, I'm still thinking the use these screws, take them out and building a little stage right here, maybe 3D printed, something like that. That would be really simple to keep it mounted on there or a little clippy, a little 3D printed clippy here on the arm up here. Yeah, but then it retracts, you know, so maybe not. Um, yeah, so that was the uh, LiDAR and the Inspire 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And we'll see you here next time on Indiana Drones.